Hello everyone, it's Isabella here and welcome back to the channel. So today's video, we are going to be diving into an MLM I have not touched on. However, several of you has asked me about it. So this is inspired by the bomb party video that I made. I remember when I talked about an MLM called the bomb party, where it was pretty much like this fizzy thing that you drop into a bowl with water and then it would show off rings and you would just be like, oh God, look, we got a surprise. Glorify gambling in my opinion. And so with that, I had a lot of you guys comment, cover the pearl MLM. So if you guys have have seen sometimes on Facebook and TikTok, there are lives of people literally shucking oysters and pulling pearls out. It's honestly really confusing, but a lot of them are multi-level marketing companies. I haven't come across one that isn't a multi-level marketing company yet, but most of them, that is what it is. So I'm actually gonna be talking about a very specific MLM today, because I know there are multiple different pearl MLMs. So again, keep that in mind. If you see one of these, it might not be attached to this kind of MLM, but there are many different pearl MLMs. And the one that I'm talking about is Pearl Time today. So so before you hop into today's video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell button down below. My merch is in the description below along with my podcast and vlog channel if you guys want to hang out with me more. But yeah, let's get into it. So really quickly, I do want to kind of skim through on the screen the Pearl Time website. So it talks about how it looks like it's, it is an MLM. You can purchase jewelry. You can also purchase pearls. You can do all these different things on here pretty much. They also have an opportunity for games. So I think this is for other people to purchase, also including the people who are actually quote unquote, independent contractors, or as I like to call themselves, business owners. And honestly, really quickly, I want to point out some of the games and things that they have here. I truly think this is a form of gambling, in my opinion, because I feel like it's just, you know, very randomized and not worth your money. But also, I want to kind of show off the oysters, for example. It's actually pretty quite expensive, in my opinion, to buy a bunch of oysters and check them yourselves. But I'm also trying to give a good idea of what people could be possibly spending if they join the MLM. Naturally, a lot of MLMs have it to where there's discount codes and it's it's a more affordable if you purchase pearls, but I'm just saying it looks a little bit expensive. But this is what we're kind of looking at though with this MLM. Honestly, again, in my opinion, I'm just, I don't like any of this jewelry from my perspective of what I see with a lot of what jewelry is popping off in the current day and age. I don't necessarily see this kind of stuff popping off as much. So I really like to me again, this product and the concept of this is more of like gambling in my opinion, along with just a product filler. That's just something I personally see with a lot of MLM of what I believe to be true in this case. Um, however, though, let's look at how you can join the team and some information. Now, I'm gonna be honest here. For me, it was actually a little bit harder to find some information about the MLM. Just a heads up, I may get kicked out of some of these groups because I literally had to sneak into specific groups in order to get information. <laughs> so if anyone has any more access to information, groups, et cetera, about this stuff, send it my way, please, because I might get kicked out of these so damn fast. <laughs> the Pearl Time MLM. So right here it says start, let's get started. So it showed the consultant pearl kit options. They used to have one kit option. Now it's up to three. So you have the $120 one that is $300 in value. You have the $160 one, which is $515 in value. And then you have the $200 one, which is $604. Yeah, no, I think that's just such a load of shit in my opinion, because half the time this stuff is marked up so much from what I've seen. One pearl measuring tool, one sand bowl, a bag of sand, a deck of cards, one die shucker, one pearl mat, and one shucking board. And then the rest of them have additional things like pendants, earrings, and loose pearls. So I I don't really know why. I don't feel like that this is a, a good thing to invest your time in. Again, I'm reading all these off so that you guys can get a good picture of what we're reacting to. I like always giving the MLM the opportunity to say what they have to offer for you, and then we can debunk that as we go. At the heart of its pearl time lies our consultants, an extension of our family, the glue that binds our team together, and the individuals who add a sparkle of fun into our workday. We always shout from the rooftops about how important our consultants are. 25% commission on sales, 40% off of jewelry, leadership incentives, working from home, building customer relationships, incentives and recognition, self-management, schedule flexibility, increase income. Again, I would like to say some of this stuff is giving me the pyramid scheme vibes in the reason that they're saying increase income. That's not an automatic benefit of becoming a client, okay? That is, that that's false. Anyways, now I actually wanna pull up the video about the MLM and a little bit of a Facebook call. And additionally, I want to also say too that certain parts I am going to be cutting out, not because I'm trying to hide something. Of course not. All I'm saying is I'm cutting out certain things where she like, you know, in Facebook lives where you have people that are like, hey, Stephanie, hey, Jessica, that's that. Like I'm cutting that out because it's excessive and it has nothing to do with what we're talking about. Okay. Just cuts. That's why. So anyways, let's get into it. Okay. So we'll go ahead and get rolling as people come in. Um, we can fill them in and stuff like that. So 
they can ask questions and stuff like that. But okay, so we're going to talk about the opportunity with its Pearl Time because November 1st is what in two days, Monday, Tuesday, on Tuesday. Yeah, Valerie, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Um, there's over a thousand people in this group, which is crazy to me. But um, so let me just start with the basics and then you can get, you guys can ask any questions you want to. Um, and this will be in the group. So if you need to go back and watch it, that's totally fine. So um, it is 99 bucks to join right now. Um, I think they're going to change that soon. I don't know if it will happen come November 1 or down the road, but they're going to go from one kit to three kit. And I don't know what the pricing of those will be at all. But it'll kind of be like a step up thing. We have your basic, medium, and then bigger packaging. Like I said, I don't know exactly when that's happening. I know that's in the works. So um, it comes with a shucking board, a shucker, sand, and a bowl, um, playing cards, and a die, um, 31 oysters, little bags for your um, orders. Um, now the bag, you all get these. Now the bags are printed like this, so you can just get a Sharpie and fill out the order form so you don't have to have a printer like I have that's always like a big question do I have where what printer do I need yada, yada, yada. you don't have to have a printer at all um those printers are like two hundred dollars you can get one it's totally fine but the bags come printed now so you don't um necessarily have to have one um so that all comes in your kit um one oyster is for you um the rest are for you to sell um the deal with ordering more oysters is you have to sell everything that comes in your kit except for your one oyster you have to sell everything that comes in your kit first before you can order more oysters, okay? Sell everything in your kit. As soon as you sell all the oysters, um, you can order 50 more, okay? Um, so it's like a step-up system with ordering oysters as well. So you can't just order like 500 out of the gate. It's a step-up system, okay? Um, now, once you get your back office, you'll get your back office before your kit comes in. You can start pre-selling your oysters, you know, getting pre-orders for your launch party, things like that. So as soon as you sell them all, um, you don't have to be live to do it. You can do them as pre-orders. You can order more oysters. They just have to be sold through your back office, okay? So, on November 1, um, basically what will happen is I will have the application available um, once you're ready. And like I said, I'm going to make a post tomorrow saying, you know, who is ready to sign up on November 1? Who is ready to go? For sure, for sure. All right? Um, and once you let me know, I'm going to send you a message that says, here's the the application. Um, this is how I want you to fill it out. Um, you'll fill it out 48 hours later. Um, you'll get an invoice for your kit. I think you have 48 hours to pay that before your spot is gone. Okay, so don't let it just sit there. Um, you'll get your kit invoice. You'll pay for your kit 48 to 72 hours later. Um, you should get back office information. Um, so you'll get like your login and all that stuff and you can start at that point taking pre-orders uh, for your launch party, okay? Um, so my suggestion uh, is always have the biggest launch party you possibly can. Your launch party needs to be a big... There's a market for a lot of things. But my, my thing is though, is there's there, there's a room for a lot of things. I'm so confused on how someone who can make good money or make extra money off of pearl shucking, like a professional way, like randomly doing it on a live. And so here's another thing I'm kind of lost on. Hopefully she kind of goes over this. So you pre-sell and then you shuck them on live and then you show them the pearl that they got. So again, is it gambling on what color or what kind of pearl you get? Like that still sounds really weird. And again, like it kind of reminds me of Bomb Party because I think Bomb Party, I believe if I remember correctly, like if it's rings, I think you might randomly get one from a collection if you get something from a specific collection and as long as you pick the size and you drop it you're like oh my god look this is the ring that you got so i think it's still quite randomized so like you could get a fucking ugly ass green pearl or something if it's like an ugly green and then you're like oh my god look congratulations you got this really fucking ugly green pearl i'm gonna ship it out tomorrow like that does not sound fun i brought this up in i think like in yesterday's video actually i talk about how the mlm high truly i think makes people believe that this is something that could actually happen when the mlm high can consider 
consist of the people that are supporting you inside the MLM and people that are outside of the MLM supporting you. So for example, if you're in a new MLM, you haven't really messed with your warm market as much. So meaning friends, family, and everything. And if you go to them and say, hey, I'm starting this new business because you support me. Is there anything you want to buy from me? There is a better chance that they're going to purchase from you. So you're going to have a decent amount of orders usually that first bit when you start off in your MLM because the most people that are close to you want to support you. And so that's on top of the leaders cup, like really showering you with love and saying, we're going to link arms and run to the top of this Pearl MLM bullshit. Then you really feel like that this is possible for you. And so you might be able to sell a decent amount of the oysters and pearls and shit like that. Great. But then after that, let's say that you do get more oysters and order more inventory, essentially. There's really not a guarantee that that's just going to sell or perform well. So... Oh God. <laughs> Your goal should be to shuck the bucket. 30 oysters, you can absolutely do it. And that should get you active as well. Um, so, you know, call in your friends, call in your family, call in whoever you need to call in and say, hey, I'm starting this new business. I really want you guys to support me. Will you please order? Um, can I count on you to be on the live? Will you share my page? Like all the things, call in all the favors, okay? You want it to be a big deal. It's not just another party. Um, this is, you're launching a brand new business and people need to, people need to know that it's a big deal. Um, and I really want your goals to be, um, to sell all the oysters you have. Cause that gets you in a really good place starting out. Okay. Um, how can we go live on TikTok if we don't have a thousand followers? So you can go to tick, T-I-K, fuel, F-U-E-L dot com, tick fuel dot com. And you can purchase the followers you need. Um, I think you can purchase a thousand for like 20 bucks or something. You better hold up. You bet. You better not tell someone to buy followers. You goofy. Don't do don't. This is a big no, no. This is a big no, no. This is a big no, no for content creation. This is a big no, no in general. Don't buy followers. It doesn't do anything for you. That is so weird to me. It's such a waste of money. And that also really royally screws your engagement, your platforms. You can literally get flagged by that. You can get banned for buying things like that. Like, don't do that. Don't do that. That's so bad. That's so wrong. And saying, oh, well, if you can't, so you can go live on TikTok, spend 20 bucks on stuff. This is what I'm talking about, how people can lose money when it comes to MLMs. Because you can be encouraged by leaders to just randomly blow money on things that are supposed to help you. And it doesn't work out like that. This is, don't do that. Oh, yeah, Tammy, then you'll be able to sign up. That's no problem. TIKFuel.com. Um, you can purchase what you need. They're bot followers. They're not real followers. Um, so don't expect, you know, a thousand people to show up on your live just because you've bought these followers. But it does allow you to be able to go live on TikTok. So there's that. Um, what else in the back office? Uh, everything you need to party. So you'll have game codes. All of our games have codes for like how many oysters you win. So it takes it out of your oyster count when you put it in for the game. All the orders, obviously, you'll see team information, your uplines and downlines. There's training in the back office. Um, what else? Like all your personal information is there. Your oyster replenishment stuff, like site will be there. Um, your discount code. So we get a 40, per, we get a 40% discount being a, co a consultant. Get on TikTok, period. Um, it is given me such a huge advantage sales wise. Um, you reach so many more people than just being on Facebook. So get on TikTok, even if it's just to do your live videos, like do the Tiki. So you'll just create a business page on Facebook and then just create an account on TikTok. Mine's personal. I don't have a business TikTok. So the games that people purchase in the, um, through my website, um, all of those codes come from the company. Um, any codes that I give away myself, like when we, when I say we shuck the bucket, I'm giving away $200 that comes from the hostess credits. So every party that we set up, you get hostess credits. Once you, um, once you get $350 in sales, that's when your hostess credits start and they go 10, 15 and 20%. Um, so I can't remember the exact breakdown, but I know once you hit a thousand dollars in party sales, you get 20% of whatever the party total is as hostess credits. So, uh, especially when you start out, I would use some to purchase stuff to build your business and then the rest I would give away. Me too, Kathy. Hey, Gabriella. 
Yes, recommended items that don't come in your kit. You need a tripod, you need a ring light, and you need a macro lens. So this is actually the first time I've seen a MLMer actually show off some of the equipment that she uses for live streaming and filming. She's talking about how you need a ring light, you need a certain lens, I believe she said, and a tripod, which again can add up really quickly. So, so far, you have to spend around at the bare minimum because the because the starter kits have been updated around $120. Then you have to go and buy a ring light. Then you have to go, because those can range 50 bucks, I would say. I'd say 50 bucks. That's usually what I've seen. Tripods, uh, the one that I've actually bought, a lot of the ones that I purchased run around the $20 range. Then, of course, if you're buying a lens, I really don't know what kind of lens she was referring to. That is what? Getting to 200 bucks at the bare minimum just to get going with this. That's a lot of money. And when most people don't make any money at all, that's a huge red flag. And it's, it is shucking pearls. It's shucking pearls. I'm just saying, that doesn't sound like a lucrative business opportunity in my opinion. But those attached to the desk and they're kind of like bendy. Um, I really like those a lot, especially I don't have a, since I don't have a ton of space on my desk. Um, I have those and I really like those. And I can link all of this in this group so that y'all can find them. But um, those are my ring lights. That right there is a gaming light. Um, one of my team members just got me that actually. And so we only have... 1100 or so consultants and maybe 60% of those consultants are active. Um, so this business is very small, um, with a ton of room for growth. So whereas like ring bombs and stuff like that, I feel like it's very saturated. I came from ring bombs. Um, and so I can say that from experience, it's very saturated. Um, we're just getting started with pearls. Um, so you're getting in at a really, really good time. Our jewelry is sterling silver with the way that we rotate it every month. Um, it's a great business builder. It's a great model um, for business to have not have the same thing. Like when I was with my last pearl company, we had the same catalog for six months. Um, so the fact that we get new stuff every month is amazing. Um, so the thing, let's see how much time outside of going live. So now I have Joe um, processing stuff as we go. Um, but I would say when it was just me outside of the live. So for every hour I went live, I was an hour doing like back office stuff. Um, and now my volume is huge. Okay. So when you first start, it's not going to be that by any means, but, um, that's kind of where it fell for me. Um, you have to process the orders, which there's training on how to do all that. Um, you have to email codes. So one thing I'm gonna mention right now, she's talking about processing orders. So I think this is almost like an older styled MLM in my opinion. It might be newer, but it looks like it's an older style. Meaning if people just wanna purchase something like similar to affiliate marketing, but I know it's technically not. Similar to the idea of if I have a link in my description below and if I'm like, hey, purchase this cause I'm wearing it or, or even like, yeah, like I usually link a uh, clothing rack and the neon sun that I have usually in uh, everybody that I post. It's not as easy then as I can make a small commission you purchase it and that's it there's a lot of effort that they have to do when it comes to it they're shipping out there's writing down things there's making sure everything's good with tracking like that's a lot of stuff that you have to do on your end so right here from the get-go this seems very just like old style if you're gonna do an MLM like if you're gonna do an MLM do all of this marketing and effort they should make it easier for you in my opinion of course if you're starting your own actual legit business yeah you're gonna have to put in different work and efforts and shipping and doing all that kind of hard pain in the ass BS of course but with this if they are gonna utilize every inch of free marketing they can off of you and you are hardly getting paid for shit they need to make it as easy as possible. Like an automated email sent out with code. So if you win something from deal or no deal, as soon as we put it into the system, it will shoot an email to the customer and say, this is your code that you won. Um, so that's going to be fabulous. Um, but then just answering customer emails, things like that, um, that does take some time. Um, you don't have to build a team to be successful. Not at all. Um, compensation plan. So you earn 25% commission base. Um, all you have to do is be active. Okay. $250 in sales is active and that is very doable as long as you're working your business. All right. You're obviously not going to not go live and think somehow you're going to get 250 in sales, but it's 25% base commission. And then you can earn up to when the, in order to stay active, you have to sell, I think $250 in product, which is a decent amount. We're talking about shucking pearls who is just regularly wanting to buy a shit ton of pearls. 
I'm just saying, it does not sound realistic. It sounds kind of all over the place. Would I rather go and buy a nice set of pearl earrings or something from like another place? People can buy that stuff even on Amazon. Any other, quickly, we're done, no big deal. Yeah, versus a randomly selected pearl, it looks like. No, that's, oh my God, this is just such a horrible business idea. Then also she was talking about how there's a chance to make more money the more you grow in the MLM. What I'm assuming is, I would love to see the compensation plan on this damn thing. What I'm assuming is it's running just like other MLMs, where if you get a bigger team and you hit bigger ranks, that's when you qualify for a higher percentage of income, essentially. More than likely, from what I'm seeing and what I've experienced with MLMs, you have to grow through the ranks, and most of the ranks require a team. Therefore, you can't have any higher amounts of commissions by strictly selling the products. You get bonuses as you grow and things like that, but 25% base commission is uh, is really good. We actually have a really good compensation plan, so I'm really thankful for that. Um, 1,100 or 11,000? What do you mean? Oh, 1,100. Well, I have 1,100 consultants. Uh, let me see what I missed. I think the new bags are sufficient, Amy. I would do this first, and then if you feel like, as you grow, if you feel like you need a printer, do that. So, uh, let's talk about that. Um, ordering oysters. So, when we order oysters, we are not paying for the oysters. Like, when I get 600 oysters, they are not my oysters. I have paid to ship them to me. Um, I'm just kind of, like, consigning them. Um, so, you don't own the oysters, but the, you get it sent to your house. And then you sell them. And then you, as an individual, ship them to other people. Why the fuck wouldn't they just cut it out and make it to where they just immediately save the shipping and just ship it over to whoever orders? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my God. I'm Wow, wow. The light bulb was flickering in the noggin. Oh, she has to open them up on the light. That's such a pain in the ass, though, I would think. Like, oh, my God. So she doesn't own them. And so she opens them up. So she, if she uses too many or if she decides to because she needs some kind of content for a live or she, what if they break or get damaged, then she has to technically buy them from the company? So I can't just shuck everything I have and then quit and keep all the stuff. Um, so if I order my oysters and I want to shuck some for myself, I have to purchase them so they become mine. Um, so like if you if you join and you order oysters and then you decide it's not for you, you have to send back the oysters that you have not sold. Um, so keep that in mind. That has been conf confusing for some new consultants, um, which the oysters you get are not yours. They are the companies, and they are giving them to you to sell. Um, and then if you decide it's not for you, you have to send everything back that you did not sell. Okay. Um, but the oyster replenishments are not expensive. Like, you can do 30 oysters. I think it's like $10. When I order 300 Okay, so you pay for the shipping. You don't actually own them. You just pay for the shipping there, too. Okay, that's, that's still quite expensive, I would say, if you have to order a decent amount, but that's not horrible. This is also really confusing to me. So you have people that order them in your system, and you get them shipped to you, so you pay for the shipping there. That is still an expense that you're going to have to spend every single month. That probably could be that rack up really quickly, I would say. And especially when you're not making any money from this, that is literally just a continuous loss every single month. Then go on live and shuck it. To me as a customer sitting here ordering a pearl or something like that, right? And waiting how long just for the pearls to get delivered to this lady and then for me to watch the live, see her shuck it, and then for it to get shipped to me, that's a lot of time. That sounds really just slow shipping, inconsistent. This is a bad business idea. Our CEO is very smart, very business savvy. Um, so she pumped the brakes on recruiting now because we were growing so fast and we were kind of getting behind on things. And, um, and she just needed to stop it so that we could catch up and we could get where we needed to be. So I, um, I could see her pumping the brakes again in the future. Um, if she thought we were growing too fast. Yes. Yeah, so on sign up day tomorrow, I'm going to make a post that asks for people who are ready to sign up. That means you're ready to go. You have your board, you have your, your deal or no deal board ready. You have your Facebook business page ready. Um, and you are ready to sign up with your business name and all that stuff. Um, ready to go. Once I get that list of people, I'm going to message you guys with the application um, so you can sign up and we can get that process rolling. We don't have an annual conference yet, but I think our first one's going to be coming up this next year. 
Okay, so here's the thing. Let's talk about team, the team, okay? Um, so like I've talked to you all about, I only have three spots at first. Okay, here's how this works. So I get three spots um, to put people in. As soon as they're active, I can add more people. So it's like a revolving door. So let's say Mark's going to come in and he's going to get active. He's going to sell. I actually think it's $125. I think it's half of what you need to be active. As soon as he hits that, I can bring in more, another person, um, on my first line. Okay. Um, so we have some options. Um, my first three spots are already taken. Um, now if you really want to be directly under me, um, we can start just kind of a waiting list. So when these people start getting active at $125 in sales, I can, um, bring in another person. Um, or if it doesn't matter to you and you just want to get in and get going, um, I can put you under some of my leaders. Now, let me tell you a few things. You're still going to be on my team, point blank period. You're still going to have access to me. All of my team members have my phone number. Um, so if you need me, you can reach out to me. You can text me, text me, please don't call me text me. Um, you always have access to me. Um, my leaders are freaking incredible. They are rock stars, like top sellers, top leaders in this company. So you're not going to have a bad leader. Um, and like I said, you'll, you'll have essentially both of us as leaders, but, um, my, my leaders are very qualified and very capable and, um, are doing huge things. So you don't have to worry when I say, you know, you're going to be on this person's team because they're all freaking amazing. Okay. It really is simple. It's learn as you go. I don't know. Okay. I'm going to figure it out. Um, the whole thing is learn as you go. Here is the nitty gritty. Okay. We have a lot of people that get into this business because they think it's going to be easy money. Um, and it's just going to be a good time. It is a blast. It is so much fun. I absolutely love what I get to do and the people that I get to work with. Um, don't hear me say otherwise, but it is a job and it is work. Um, and so I have a lot in the past. I've had too many people, um, that have joined just to kind of be on my team and not do anything. Um, and I'm trying to eliminate that as much as possible. Um, so, you know, if you're still not sure, if you're just kind of feeling things out, like take some time and let's talk about it some more. Um, but if you are ready to go and you know you're going to put in the work, then, like, let's do it. I'm glad that she's actually saying that, at least, because, like, being transparent about, like, hey, this isn't just easy money, of course. Like, that's very good to be real and transparent here. But also, again, I want to just kind of reclarify this part in this conversation as well. It's very important for her to find people that actually run this, like, a business and work with it and actually do something with it because that also is going to impact her paycheck. And she has a bunch of people that pretty much don't really do much. Well, yes, at first, somebody joining her team looks good, but if they really don't do anything, after a while then of course like you know her paycheck isn't going to really continuously grow and do good so if she can get as many people to actively run with this then more than likely she's going to make good money at the beginning she was talking about how she can grow through the ranks and do good pretty much and make a higher percentage of commissions off of products and everything else because she has a bigger team it does take work it takes consistency like there are times lots of times where i'm so tired and i don't want to go live um but i do it i show up if there's many times where you're so tired, you don't even want to go live. And if this is your, because I'm, I don't know if this is her sole income. If this is her sole income, like, that's a big red flag, babe. Like, there's going to be times where I'm really tired and exhausted with this stuff. But, like, don't kill yourself over an MLM. Because half the time they're like, oh, that's what you need to do in order to be successful in this. If you're that exhausted and tired and putting in this all, all this effort, it is not worth it. I would never recommend you joining this because at the end of the day, if you're exhausted going on live, you, one, it's not gonna. Perf it's probably not gonna do as good if you're feeling tired and not really animated and involved with the people. But then additionally, like that is a waste of your energy to keep going live on something that you're really not gonna be getting paid for. It's my job. I wanna keep my customers engaged. I wanna keep my platform that I have on TikTok. Um, I wanna stay in the algorithm, like I wanna stay relevant. So I show up even when I don't want to. Um, I, there have been times where I have to grind for parties. Like I have to work to hit my party goal um, so I can hit the goal. Um, so it, the easy part is signing up and launching. That is the easy part. The hard part comes when you have to keep going, when viewers are low, when sales are slow. Um, you have to do the hard thing and you have to show up and you have to keep going. And I'm here to tell you that I have watched 
my team of, of people sit there with five and six and seven viewers on TikTok and not much in sales. And they keep going, they keep showing up. These are my leaders, but not just leaders, but I'm talking about my leaders and they show up and they show up and they show up. And now they're in 30 and 40 and 50 and $60,000 in sales every month. Cause they just kept showing up. They kept doing the hard things and they still do the hard things. Um, and it changed their whole entire life. Um, that was our conversation today as leaders was, what? One, when after an MLM really grows and picks up after a certain while, usually there, there's this there's this chart that they like to show that it, it's accurate, right? It's the good time for people to join in because, again, the concept is the earlier you get in, the faster you can get people underneath you, and then you could possibly be one of the rare top 1% success stories. But after a while and after a while of the saturation, the success is not really there. Why? Because there's not as many people joining, and the product sales aren't really in my opinion, what is doing you well. So thinking about the longevity of this, if you're in an MLM, at the bare minimum, if it's at least selling a product that people would use frequently, like shampoo, makeup, something that makes more logical sense where the pricing could be decent and the use of it is something that more people use frequently, then it's smart. Whereas you're joining an MLM like this, where thinking about it long term, I, this is not something that people are just going after or could use on a regular basis in my opinion because at least with shampoo, for example, you would wanna repurchase every month or however often. But repurchasing a bunch of jewelry consistently, not everyone is just going out of their way to do that, nor is the jewelry necessarily a necessity. So I just don't feel like the demographic is there. I don't think the longevity is there in my opinion and I feel like this is just another cash grab. So I know she's talking about how her leaders are doing good. Well, probably because there's only so many there's only so many people that are already in the MLM that you can join underneath. So of course the first people starting are going to probably perform better. It can change your life. It can absolutely change your life. If you'll just, if you'll just do it, if you'll just work. Um, and so that's what it takes. You get out 150% what you put in. You're going to get out exactly what you put in. So if you show up in your dramas and disheveled and stuff all in your background, you know, it looks like you're going live from the yard sale. Like, you're not going to get any sales. But if you show up looking like a professional in a professional setting, people are going to trust you. People are going to shop from you. So you get out what you put into it. Okay, let me see. Let me go back and read questions. You do not have to purchase. You're not required to purchase any jewelry. But you do get it at a 40% discount. Or you can use hostess credits. Like the jewelry that I purchase, I don't pay for. I use hostess credits. Still live with no orders. Uh, that has happened several times. Like a lot, Mark. And basically you have to show up with a goal. Um, what is your goal? Is it a thousand dollars in party sales? Okay. Well, this is what the goal is. This is what I'm giving away and we're not going to stop till we get there. You just have to have a plan and, um, you have to be ready to work. I set my goals, Marsha. I set my goals. If someone's making 30 K if so, hold on. If someone is making 30 K in sales, how much are you putting? How much of that goes in your pocket? It depends. It depends on where you're at in the um, in the comp plan. So if you have people underneath you and you're, um, you know, a pearl leader as opposed to just a consultant, you're going to make a little more. Real big dependency on recruitment. Again, that's a big red flag of a pyramid scheme. In order for you to make more money when it comes to the sales, it looks like she's going to have to grow throughout the ranks. So for, she was giving the example. Someone gave the example of if you make $30,000 in sales, how much of that are you going to get? And she's saying, well, it depends on where you're at the compensation plan, how many people pretty much are underneath you. So if you literally strictly sold products, you would only make 25% of $30,000 in sales, which of course could be really good math, absolutely. But that is lower than if you had an actual downline underneath you. That to me is a big red flag, honest to God, because the additional incentives are, Sorry, Lila's fucking around in the background, like playing with the toys. Anyways, it's honestly a huge red flag to me, the fact that you can't earn even more from Strictly Sales because you have to have a downline underneath you to do that. 10%, maybe not 10%, maybe like six or 7% more than if you're just a consultant. But once you hit 4,000 in sales for the month, you get an additional 5% on your sales. So it jumps from 25 to 30%, and that's all just based on you what it is. I want you all to start like instantly. And so if I can put you strategically in places, um, then I will absolutely do it. And I will get, we'll just all start at the same time. And I would love nothing more. But if you are just diehard want to be, um, on my team, like on my direct downline, um, then that's totally fine too. But you're all team TRP. You're all going to be there. 
Um, that's that. <laughs> and I'm going to do two $100 gift cards or four $50 gift cards, whatever it is. Um, start small and work your way up. You're obviously not going to do the giveaways I'm doing because we're, um, you know, I'm producing way more than where you guys are going to start at, which is fine. I started there too. So it looks like we're incentivizing people to buy, which is another red flag. If you have to do all these, and again, I'm not against giveaways. Giveaways are great. All I'm saying is saying, oh, we need a goal of 500 for this party and I'm giving away all this other stuff. Then again, it's incentivizing people, I think, to purchase from you in general, which if you can't get anyone interested in purchasing from you without all the giveaways or consistently doing giveaways, that's a red flag. This doesn't sound like this is something that will actually last really long. Hi, Lila, sorry. Miss Linda's here, what's it doing? I love you. Here, can I, can we, can we meet halfway? Come here. Yeah, incentivizing people to literally keep purchasing from you, no. This is so bad. This sounds like a complete scam in my opinion, and it sounds like you're going to lose money so fast by making these types of promises. So if you're not active for the first month, you have one month of a grace period to get active again. Um, if you don't have $250 in sales in two months, then um, you have to re-sign up. Now, if you're not getting $250 in two months, you're just not working and we might should do something else, but, um, you can, I'm telling you, you can absolutely do it. You should set your, your site for a thousand dollars in sales for your first month. And then, um, 4,000, I think in the next couple of months. After that. Okay. That's just unrealistic saying, Oh, well, if you don't get $250 bare minimum of sales, then you're just not working. I beg to differ. I really, really beg to differ. You're talking to people who may or may not have a social media presence or platform, right? And even if they have some, there's no guarantee that people are just going to buy that. If something is not really attainable or in demand, they're not going to purchase it from you. And then for her to say, well, you should have a thousand dollar goal. That's, that's pretty fucking high. Logically speaking, if this was not even involved with an MLM, I highly doubt even a thousand dollars would be sold just from a product like that if I were to market that off. That just does not sound realistic. That doesn't sound attainable. No, Come, if I even promoted that and I have a following and I know damn well you guys wouldn't even eat that up like this, come on. So it is a, we're actually a direct selling organization is what, um, is the classification we receive. Um, so yes, it is built like that. Like you guys can join underneath me type thing. So the thing is you guys, you cannot, when you join this company, you cannot sell any other jewelry. Um, so if you're with another company that sells jewelry, you got to make a choice. Um, and if you, I would just say, don't, don't try to hide it because she will, Zanae, our CEO will find out and you will be fired yesterday. So just make your choice, um, which what you want to do more and, um, go with that. I've been doing this business for six years. I've been with this company since mid February. Um, and I, I went, I hit the top, um, tier in like six months. So you are required. It is a requirement now for you guys to do an unboxing video. Um, so as soon as you get your kit, you need to unbox it live. Can I tell you how funny this is that all these little requirements are popping in, but yet you're your own business owner. You have to do an unboxing video. You can't sell any other jewelry products. You have to do all these other things. That's not being your own business owner if some random upline is telling you exactly what to do. This is another red flag in my opinion. When you want to start something at all, anything in general, I think people should be willing to share all the information to you. And if they're holding it, if they're not able to actually give proper information that's clear and so you can make an educated decision on something. I think that is a huge problem. So the fact that this is really much all over the place, and there's not any consistent like points and things that are being mentioned, I think is really odd to me. And I know I'm going to have to do a hell of a lot of editing in when I make this video because I'm going to have to cut out the amount of time she like says, hey, to people, you know what I mean? But like this should be more clear and concise for people who are interested in doing this, because again, this is people's money we're talking about. If I want someone to join something of mine, again, I'm not doing that, but if I want someone to actively do something 
something or purchase something from me or whatever. I need to be giving good information to explain why it's important. I need to give all the information. I need to be able to be willing to answer this kind of questions, right? And I don't feel like that this is very clear in my opinion. I went through this group and I couldn't really find any like strict videos that have like bullet point stuff that was like pre-filmed that wasn't just some random live. So this is just very all over the place and to me doesn't scream professionalism. Again, I'm not trying to be judgmental in this way. What I'm saying, though, is that she is the same individual who said you can't show up on a live in your jammies and look like you, quote unquote, don't care. I feel like the same goes when it comes to this kind of stuff, too. It's not giving me the vibe that she's wanting to give all this information when it's just very casually done in this way. So I'm actually going to close out this video because I think that that's enough. And there was literally kind of just some random repetition of some things that we already heard in this video because she's answering questions that people are finally jumping into on the live that she already answered at the beginning. So I'm going to close that out here in today's video so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to the channel if you guys have any other information about the pearl time mlm or any other pearl mlms please send it my way because i would love to see it if you guys have any thoughts about the pearl mlm concept if you think it's a good idea if you think it'll grow let me know i just love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions yeah i will see my angels in my next video bye